Hi, Paul Hefty here with the Triangle O football system. I want to go over our, the evolution of our stretch RPO, which is a strong or H back side wide zone. We do what's called a three in one attack, and we like to install this at the very beginning because it gets to the core of our number one trio principle numbers. The three in one is where we can do an onside run pass option. We can do a backside RPO, and then we can also do what we call PROs to both sides. That's a pass run option. Now we're thinking pass first. You'll see here as we do a quick overview, the yellow boxes are teaching and coaching points. So it's set up like a teacher's edition for you to go back to and find the details for pro proper teaching. Let's take a look. All right, the reason we install this first is it is the foundation of the whole trio no huddle process. We've got to do this defensive recognition every time what we call Anna, access, no access. We're going to start by determining the number of high safeties, and that'll let us know potential run box defenders. From there, we'll go down to those hanging linebackers. In this diagram, you'll see the Sam and the Will, what we call Mr. Zeros. And now we're just going to look and see if they are covering our receivers. If they aren't, then we say we have access to throw and we know we have bad numbers in the box, run box. If they're out covering the receivers, now we have no access to throw, but that means we have good numbers, six blocking, six defenders in the run box. So here's an example of principles right away with numbers. You can see the example here. We're going to run a stretch zone to the left towards the bottom where the H back is. We've got two high safeties. That means then there's seven potential run box defenders. We've got the six to block six. So then we're going to go and read the will backer or the backside um, linebacker as our best access because that's the seventh conflict defender. Next, we want to show you how we can make multiple simple and how this three in one works. The pre snap process, quarterback and OC are always checking every play for safeties and then down to the Mr. Zeros, and we can pick best access. Post snap, then, quarterback reads either the ox if it's onside best access or the will backside. In the communication sequence, we can do it three ways by the OC. One, he can just go ahead and call our normal stretch RPO signal and verbal, and then quarterback picks the best access for the post snap read. We can do then what we call a PRO or pass run option, and we simply add the prefix of a signal and a verbal here, pray. That means we're going to read now the ox or the onside, and we do what's called pray for post. Third, then, is we can do a pro to the backside, and we do now a verbal of alert and a signal and add the stretch call. And now quarterback's reading the will as his read key. Key note, when we use these PROs, quarterback and a running back are going to use what we call a slow mesh technique. So it gives us time to have a better read phase. With stretch zone, the reason we like this in the beginning with all levels is you've got everybody going the same way so we can work on steps and good double teams and landmarks. Um, it's a nice way to go ahead and start your teaching. Same thing with the steps. We want to be consistent. You can see from the sidecar, we're going to take our pivot, take our three steps to the quarterback, and then we're going to go four and five straight to the sideline, stretch the defense just as it says, and then attack downhill on six and seven, making our read going off of the H backs block inside or outside. So here from the two by two, you can see where this is a four, three, even defense cover four. We've got two high safeties. So again, the conflict defender or seventh defender is going to be the will or the backside linebacker. We'll go ahead and make him our read key. You can see we've got the A receiver running a hot middle read route. If the will fills, we'll drill him and he'll replace it. If the will sits, then he'll run a bender between those two deep safeties. And we've got the primary receiver being the Z on the flat slant, what we call looky right behind him. Again, if the will sits, we can just go ahead and say the back gets. Will fills, will drill hot to number one. 
If we go two by two again, but we they go to a one high, you can see now numbers. They've got eight potential run box defenders, but we've got good numbers on the back end. So now we'll read the ox and we'll go on side with the Z running the glance route or skinny post. Again, quarterback will ride into side, ox fills, we'll drill one and we can scan back two, three to the back side. If the, will, if the ox sits, then the back will get it and we've got good numbers to the front side, six on six. When we go to three by one, only one thing changes. Our A receiver now to the strong side will go ahead and stock block inside out. It actually simplifies the read because there's less receivers involved. So again, with one high, we're gonna go on side reading the ox, ox fills. Now he's got this Z on a solo glance route all the way. Ox sits, then the back's gonna get, and we've got the extra blocker. If we go to a three by one and they give us a two high, which is a uh, very common, what's called a cover 42, cover four to the strong side, two to the back side. Now again, we've got good numbers in the run box. We're gonna read the will backside as that seventh conflict defender, and we'll go ahead and look for the looky on the backside. Will fills, will drill, will sits, back gets, and we'll use the extra blocker of the A to the strong side. You can see how this can be very simple, but very multiple at the same time. But more importantly, we love to do this first because it sets up a consistent uh, way to attack defenses using good numbers every time you run a play. Thanks.